Hello, this is a tutorial on how to sequence VST synthesizers with MIDINUS using Reaper. It will not be a tutorial on MIDINUS or Reaper itself, just a tutorial on how to use uh, both programs together. To demonstrate this, uh, I made uh, three sequences. Um, each sequence I want to send the MIDI to other VSTs. This is the setup I prepared in Reaper. Uh, the first one is a vibraphone. Second, the bass. And a third one are the drums where I use the Citala VST. Now we're going to send the MIDI from uh, MIDINUS to Reaper. Since I use three instruments, I will use three channels of MIDI. You can, uh, of course, use 16 channels uh, sim simultaneously. For this tutorial, I will only use three. Currently, you see that all the notes are uh, being sent to channel one but uh, that is something you want to change first. So the first channel, the vibraphone, going to send to uh, channel one. This is uh, correct already. The bass sequence we're going to send, for example, to channel two. And channel three, the drums, we're going to send to channel three. Usually, drums are sent to MIDI channel 10, but uh, this can be uh, chosen at will. Here, you see everything is sent to different MIDI channels. For this example, the vibraphone will uh, play an, uh, an Avdorian sequence in 115 BPM. The bass will have some bass notes, mainly the F, and the drums uh, are linked to uh, triggers on the Citala VST. When you play this with the internal synth, it sounds like this. But this does not make sense yet, so we're going to click off the internal synths to use the Reaper synths. To set this up in Reaper, uh, you have to choose the MIDI channel, but first you have to enable the MIDI-ness port in the preferences. Here, the MIDI-ness port, double click, enable input from this device. Okay, now we apply. And now you can see, you can select with input MIDI, MIDI port channel one. So now everything of for uh, channel one, the vibraphone will be sent to uh, this VST. We do the same thing for the bass channel, but here we choose uh, channel two. And for channel three, the drums, we do MIDI port channel three. And you want to, uh, record arm and when you play the sequence now it should play in reaper and it does so now that this is set up, you can also record the MIDI. Then you have to just to go like this, start the sequence. And you see that Reaper records the MIDI, which can be useful if you want to use the MIDI notes later on or have some other edits. Okay. I hope you found it helpful.
Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.